listen, I don't know if I'm just gonna continue to do these reading weekend vlogs or if this is just a phase, but welcome to another. <laughs> I am again joining you from my lunch break on Friday. It is gorgeous outside. I'm reading The Martian. I'm about to finish it. I don't know if I'll finish it right now on my lunch break. I'm also reading a audiobook called The Silent Woods, which is a survival like isolation thriller set in like the woods where this man has taken his daughter out there for reasons that have yet to be disclosed to me. I am listening to it on recommendation from my dad because it was his first five star of 2024, which is cool. Welcome, I hope you are well. from my work day. I did in fact finish The Martian, which is such a good book. I understand and cognitively get why it has been an intimidating book on my TBR for a long time, but when I was reading it, it wasn't as complicated or as like hard to get as I thought it was going to be. So let this be an encouragement to you. If there's a book on your TBR, you know that you want to read it but you don't necessarily prioritize picking it up because you're nervous or intimidated by it. Uh, let this be your encouragement because it went well. I think I'm gonna give it a four star. I absolutely love the main character. However, all of the heavy science-y stuff that was really, really interesting at the beginning, by the time that I was getting to those last like 100 pages, I was struggling to read it and to care about some of the very in-depth science and chemistry like mechanical engineering details that he put in there i am absolutely agog and aghast that andy weir and this story uh was self-published and basically just popped off on the internet back in 2012 and then he like sold it and got movie rights and it's just like a huge success story very cool i'm gonna get changed i'm gonna settle in i don't have any plans tonight other than reading i'll let you know what books i pick up I'm about to sit down and play Sims. I'm not a gamer. I'm only playing Sims because it's like age regressing for me. So I haven't read anything yet this evening, but I will keep you posted if I pick something up. Okay, so I have been playing some Sims. I rearranged some of my house and I've been listening to these silent woods. I have just flown through the first half of this audiobook today. So I'm a approaching the 60% mark. So we follow this main character, his name is Cooper, and he has his daughter Finch. The two of them live out in the woods. They've been living in this cabin for all of Finch's childhood, like pretty much since she was like, like four months old or something. She's eight now. There is backstory being told about Cooper and how they got themselves in the situation where they are living out in the woods. I went into this absolutely completely 100% blind. I don't think I even read the synopsis, but I knew from my dad, like I said, he was the one who recommended this to me, that this is a thriller. It is isolated and it's set in the woods. So I knew that it was like a survivalist book, which sometimes can be hit or miss for me, but I am enjoying Cooper's character so much. I love character studies and this does have some plot, but, and I feel like the plot is about to get really amped up in this, you know, last quarter of the book or so, but you really can just show me like a good character study in a book and I'll be happy. I'm not someone who needs like a really fast paced plot in order to enjoy a story. So I would say keep that in mind if you're going into this book, but his character is very well realized and flushed out. So I'm enjoying listening a lot. Now I'm going to make a transition. I've got some time to do some reading and I'm going to pick up a new book because I did finish The Martian and I told you my reading on that. The next book and the last book on my February TBR is Nocturnes by John Connolly. This is a horror anthology, which is just a short story collection. And the first story is 70 pages. I'm excited to dive into this and see if we can get spooked. Horror is a funny thing because there can be a lot of different types of horror, including like slow, horror that is character studies and it's more like literary horror um this is not that <laughs> and it's exactly what I was hoping for I didn't know what to expect when going into this book and all I will say is I am 12 pages in and I want to gag I want to gag and I'm thrilled about it <laughs> 
Good morning. Listen, last night I hardly did any reading and it's okay. Other than listening to these silent woods, I think I read like 20 pages of Nocturnes and I started watching Fleabag, which is um, a show I wanted to get into for a long time and I love it. I am going to a friend of mine's bridal shower today. I have some things to do this morning. I'm probably not going to be reading until in the evening. I'm doing setup at 1130. I'll be at the bridal shower for two to four and then kind of freed up after that so i've got some stuff i need to do this morning including getting ready i'll show you guys like the outfits but for now i need to pop to cvs to grab some wrapping paper okay here's what we're working with i had limited options as far as wrapping paper goes but it was double-sided and the inside paper was more like a silver and i felt this is more like bridal and honors the pastel theme. Okay, I was thinking it might be fun to show you the dresses that I'm looking at to wear to this bridal shower. This is obviously not reading related. So I pulled some dresses. Given my normal outfit decisions, I'm surprised at how many dresses that I have that fit this pastel floral vibe. Obviously very pink, very floral, pastel-y. This is like a 1950s picnic dress. This one on the side here is probably the most like floral, obviously, and I'm not sure I'm gonna go with that one. I think I wanna go a little more ethereal, which, you know, leans more towards these two dresses. I know that this one looks kind of rough on the hanger, but I know the way it looks on me and it's very beautiful. It definitely needs a steam, but that's actually the long one is the one that I'm leaning more towards right now. So I think the picnic dress is out too. We're really just working with these three right now. I'm going to look for on Pinterest for a cute little updo that I can do. Um, and maybe that will help me decide. because I've spent so much of the day um, doing fun things with friends and not really reading. So I am settling down to read. I'm not picking up Nocturnes. I have actually gotten back into the nonfiction I've been reading. I don't think I've talked to you guys about this book at all, but I've been reading quiet for the last two months or so. You can't really see unless you do like that. Do you see that? <laughs> it's called Quiet. By Susan Cain, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. It's a nonfiction backed by a lot of research. Um, she's doing an analysis on introverts and, you know, what makes them valuable and the direction uh, that our society has taken in specifically in workplaces that value really heavily a lot of extroverted personality characteristics and why introverts are not being used to their potential. It's a book that my aunt sent me after I had a conversation with her explaining how and when I came to the conclusion that I was an introvert. She recommended this book to me and sent me this beautiful copy. And I'm so glad she sent me this one. I'll show you guys a picture of what the US cover looks like, but the UK cover is way cooler. I've also listened a little bit to The Silent Woods and I am now 77% of the way through it. This book is absolutely 100% stressing me out and I just know it's gonna get worse. So it's not really giving thriller. We've really only had two very suspenseful moments, but other than like those plot forward moments, um, the entire story is just cloaked in fear and anxiety and the paranoia of this man that we're following. Um, so it's really just heightening my anxiety as well, which I suppose I can put as a positive towards the book because it's clearly like sinking in, you know? Anyways, I'm about to go back to reading Quiet and I just finished part two, which was called Your Biology Yourself. And part three, I'm about to start, which is called do all cultures have an extroverted ideal? It is a little bit later in the evening. I might check in with you before I go to bed, um, but also reading this subject matter, I can feel myself being like, hey, it's time for bed.
Good morning, it is Sunday morning. I've just brewed some coffee. I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of reading. I woke up a little earlier than I normally would on a Sunday because I went to bed earlier last night than I normally would on a Saturday night. I'm feeling very well rested and in a fantastic mood. I think I'm going to try and pick up Nocturnes again this morning. So I will keep you posted on what I read and good morning. Okay, hi, I am home from getting coffee with my mom. Just a little girl's day. So I'm gonna settle down to read some more of Nocturnes. I read a little bit more this morning, got to page 62 of the first short story. This story is called The Cancer Cowboy Rides and it's scary. I would love to read a lot tonight. I feel like I haven't actually read too much this weekend. So I'll keep you posted on what I get up to with this. We are going to get Indian food because I didn't go to the grocery store today. I did a little bit of reading. I finished the short story and it was gross. Okay, it's Sunday night. After we got some food, we came back here and ate it, watched an episode of Fleabag. I've been slowly peppering those in throughout my weekend and really loving it. So let me give you a little wrap up. I read another 10 pages of Quiet. So this weekend, I read 40 pages of this book. Um, which is an intimidating nonfiction for me, so I'm pretty pleased with that. In a perfect world, I would finish this before at the end of the month in February, but I'm gonna give myself a little leeway on that. Star of the show, Nocturnes. I am 120 pages into this book. I read the first three or four stories and I already got a five star. I knew it was gonna happen when I was getting myself into the writing because it's very effective. I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. John Connolly's writing is really, like I said, effective. I am spooked when I'm reading these, like very, like actually scared. <laughs> I kind of wish that I had like another book on my TBR other than a nonfiction. Like I know I can do this with what I'm about to say, but that I could be maybe read a story or read two stories and then have another like main book that I'm reading to like break this up because sitting down and reading like a hundred pages of this really these really like horrific stories is it's difficult especially at night anyway so I'm really enjoying this and would highly recommend if you want to be scared um try John Connolly's Nocturnes read the story called The Earl King try not get scared try it Welcome to the end of another weekend reading vlog. I did not finish these silent woods, um, but I am 77% the way through the audiobook and will be finishing that um, literally like probably tomorrow. On Friday, I finished The Martian, like I said, I really enjoyed that book as well. And then went on to start Nocturnes, like I said, made it 120 pages through. I'm gonna keep reading tonight, but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. And of course, like I said, I also got into my nonfiction called Quiet by Susan Cain. So all in all, I would say a successful reading weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like other bookish content like this, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. And other than that, have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.